No, this is not a trick. This is WRC8, and we're gonna show you something here that was not before possible. Well, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And uh, I don't think this will interfere with online play. I know they have like a, a little restriction on like mods and stuff like for online play, but that only applies to physics. So this is just sending these inputs to this rig. I'm not sending inputs to the game to get it to do something different. This mod is specific to sim tools, so it's very important that you use that application. Otherwise, this won't work. So I will enlighten you. This is awesome. I'm so excited. I was so bummed out when I, when I learned WRC9 and all these games don't have telemetry. They don't output anything. We had to hack the system to get it to do this, and, and that's ridiculous. Cryloton or whatever the name your, your company is, no VR, no motion, except for, I think, D-Box, but those are expensive. I mean, this is expensive, but those are expensive. First of all, you're gonna need a plugin for Dirt Rally 2.0, and I know that's a different game. <laughs> Don't be like, this is WRC9. We need the Dirt Rally plugin because we're actually gonna be emulating that game with this game. So you're gonna wanna go to a website called X Simulator. Now you're gonna wanna search Dirt Rally 2.0, and you're gonna find it right here. You come over here, and then it'll take you to the download page, and then you just download this little, and click a do, minimize this, and go down to your downloads file. Now we're gonna to go to SimTools plugin updater. So it should be in your start menu under SimTools. For the plugin updater to work, you need to be exited out of everything SimTools. So this is the only SimTools thing you, you can have open for this. It's just a really small application. You don't unzip the file. If you unzip the file, this won't work, I, I believe, at least from what I've tried. And you literally just drag this over until you see a little plus sign Cool. Now we're going to need to download something else here. We're going to need to go to Race Department and we want to go to Downloads. We want to go down here to WRC Series and you can see that there's not much. right? And we want to click on WRC Telemetry Patch. This is 1.1. So when you download this, it'll just give you a really simple file with all this stuff in here. So we're gonna hit download. Then we're gonna go back to File Explorer and go to Downloads again. Then right click on WC Telemetry and hit Extract All. Now it's gonna give us this option here and we're gonna to wanna to browse and, and find our WC game that we wanna address. So I have mine in the F drive and there it is right there, WC9. You just highlight it and then push Select Folder and then Extract. Now when we go to WRC9, we're gonna see some new files. We see Dirt Rally 2 right here. We see something called install, and we see WRC injection payload. That sounds kinda of dirty, doesn't it? All you do is hit this install, it's actually a batch file, and it's gonna it's gonna warn you, your PC's gonna be like, don't do this, don't do it, and you're gonna say, run anyway. Okay, so it's gonna give you these options here, and you literally just hit any key, but I always hit enter and it's done. Now that we got that installed, we need to go back to this Dirt Rally 2 and hit right click and then we're going to hit create shortcut. So now we have the same file just stacked up on top of here. Right click that one, go to properties and then it's already on shortcut, that's where we need to be and target is what we need to, to change. So there needs to be a space, that's very important. Don't forget the space, then forward slash then port space 4123 space slash protocol sim tools. And again, there's another space between protocol and sim tools. And then hit apply and okay. So before we start the game, we need to patch Dirt Rally 2. Even if you don't have the game, you need to patch it. So now we need to go to the, the game engine and the game manager for SimTools. 
The reason why we're going to open up both now is because before you start the game, you need to have your, your sim tool stuff running. You click on this little show hidden icons, and you can get these both added up here. You should be able to click this menu, and you should be able to go down to Dirt Rally 2. It should be an option. If it's not, you did something wrong. Um, but it should be an option, and you got to go down to Patch right here. And then if I didn't already have the patch, it would say Patch Game. And you need to put it in a specific file, so I'll show you how to do that. So, patch game. It's going to tell you to, to complete a race, but you don't need to do that. You actually have to go to Documents, My Games, and then Dirt Rally 2, or you know whatever one you want to do. I, I have the Oculus version too, but um, so Dirt Rally 2, and hit OK. And we got the patch installed, so we're good to go. Now we need to go back to whatever you have the game installed on. I have it on Epic Games, so I need to go to that launcher. Your library, and I have an update. Is it long? I hope they didn't update the game to where this patch doesn't work. That would figure, wouldn't it? Anyway, okay, so it just updated. We're gonna launch the game. Now we need to hit Windows, or go back to your main screen. And you want to go to files, and you want to go back to that 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 Dirt Rally 2 shortcut that you made. Click that, and it's going to ask you if you want to run it. You know, because it's unknown. Run it, and then you see you should see this black screen here saying "Send telemetry." It'll say no telemetry at first, but that'll change. Now I'm pretty sure that update that WRC 9 just did broke the the patch. So. We're going to have to wait on that one, see if they can fix that. I just tried to get it to work and it, and it wouldn't work. But if you follow all those same steps for WC8, if you own that game, it will work. So this is what it would look like if, if you were successful. It'll say telemetry stream detected, and then when you disconnect from the game, it'll say stream lost. So that would mean success. So let's say you weren't able to actually get any telemetry from the game and you know, you push on the gas and nothing happened. So what you want to do is go to Game Engine and go to Tools and Tuning Center. And if you have all zeros down here and all zeros up here, that means your game doesn't have anything to work off of. So what you do is press this button here. So for the sake of this demonstration, I zeroed out my, my settings here and we're still capturing here. So you should see these numbers have new values after this. So we'll go back to Game Engine, Tuning Center, and you can see right here, you'll have you'll have some input now. You would get some telemetry, you know, do a couple stages without crashing, and you'd get all the data you needed to save. And once you hit save, it'll apply all these new settings, and you'll instantly start getting motion the next time you start playing. I'm going to put the link in the description to everything I did, and uh, and give credit to the person that made this possible. So make sure and, and, and send some kudos to that guy because uh, this is really cool. And this game is, was never intended to do this. So at least not with this method and with this gear. Yeah, so let me know if you get this working with Nine in the comment section below. And uh, we'll, we'll work this out together. We'll, we'll try to figure that out. But have a good day. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in a future video.